Good day. In this short video, we're going to show you how to use File Server Resource Manager uh, to, uh, it's right here by the way, uh, we're going to use that tool to block uh, ransomware, uh, crypto locker type stuff. And um, this is free, it's built into uh, Windows Server. So let's get started. Now I've already done the install, so we're just going to leave that alone. Uh, but um, uh, the you simply add the add the role here. You can see it's under File and Storage Services, and it's called File Server Resource Manager. So I'm just going to click Cancel on that and get rid of it because we've already done it, so it's not not useful. Uh, it does re require a reboot, so take note of that. Um, this is on a uh, VM, uh, but um, it could have been on a physical machine. Uh, and uh, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is double click File Server Resource Manager and let's go through it. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, turn on Screening Management. So I'm going to go to File Screening Management and File Groups and I'm going to uh, right click, uh, here we go, and I'm going to create a group. I'm going to call these Ransomware Files. You, it's very difficult to stop CryptoLocker stuff, but um, if you don't think about CryptoLocker, you'll know that what it does is, when it's encrypting, it's also copied files to the drive that in, that include instructions for the the victim to you know pay uh, through Bitcoin usually a ransom. Well, those files are standard; they've been used many many times. The file names specifically, and so you can block the file names. When those file names show up, you can get an alert, or you can shut down the share, or you can you know, you can well. It's a, you can run a batch file and do whatever you want. You can shut the server down, for that matter. So what we're going to do is search for those uh, known files. With any file that says decryptinstructions.txt, and I've got this in a file already, so I'm just going to paste it in. It's faster than typing it. Now I'm going to actually suck in a whole lot of other ones with a with a uh, script file. But um, as an example, let me just put a few more in here for fun, so you can just see what they are, uh, see different formats and. Things. So let me just pop some of these things in. Boom. So basically, if any of these files show up, we're going to pay attention to it. So I'm going to click OK. It showed us up here as ransomware files. Okay, so the next thing is file screen templates. There we go. Create a new one. And we're going to call this ransomware files again. And we want passive screening. Let's go down here. We want it to go after the files we have in the ransomware file group, which is that list I just uh, was just building. And uh, an email message, we can create a new um, message here. We're going to click this checkbox on, and uh, you can leave it as this, um, but you know, um, you don't have to. I'm going to leave it at this uh, just for the minute, but th what this will do is this will send. Uh, relatively detailed information. So I'm going to click off this, and uh, we can set that. We can set the admin uh, email account in a minute. I've clicked on event log just to show you what happens. It's popped up saying, "Hey, look, you haven't configured any uh, file server, any mail server yet." So I'll just say yes. I want to continue, and uh, you know we can keep going through this. So there's other options here that you can play with, as you see fit. In our case, for the purpose of this, we're just going to send an email. So let's go there. I'm just going to click OK. And yes, I want to continue. Now to set the mail server, what you want to do is click on file server, click actions, and click configure options. And this is where you'd specify your mail server. When you've got that set up as you'd like, just click send test email, and it will tell you whether it sent successfully or not. There we go, all right, good. So I'm gonna click okay. So that sent a nice test message. I'll wait to make sure I've rece that I receive it. And there it is, you can't see it, but trust me, it just showed up. Okay, let's go create a file screen. So I'm going to go into here, into file screens. I'm going to click right click, create a uh, file screen. So this is really, you know, what do you want to check? So I'm just going to check the file shares here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to check uh, really just that. I'm just going to check the, uh, and I'm going, to, I I'm going to check it for the ransomware files that I set up earlier. And you can see here it's a uh, file screen on F. Look for, look for ransomware files, it's passive. Uh, file groups, so again, look for the ransomware list and send an email. Just click create. And pretty much that's that. Yeah, that's really about all you need to know about it. So at this point, it's going to look for anything that I've set um, in this ransomware list, any file that gets created, and it's going to then send an email to the people that I specified. 
as an add-on to what we've already talked about, I want to show you how to uh, add the uh, file list from a text file rather than by typing them all in by hand, which is which can be a giant pain, especially if you have multiple servers to do. So I've got this little script here called uh, new file group ps1. I'm just going to edit, and uh, what it's going to do is uh, really just four things. It's going to uh, first, it's going to import PowerShell module that's required. Uh, then it's going to set uh, the policy so that um, this machine will accept uh, the scripts from unsigned uh, sources, which is what I've got here. Then I'm going to remove the current group, and I'm not going to I'm not going to um, not going to ask if if there's any prompting. I just want it to go through ahead and delete it if it's there. And then I'm going to have uh, a new group created. And uh, so let's just show how that works. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go click Start, type in PowerShell. Now, I'm using the Start button. You probably don't have that on yours, but uh, um, however you want to get, get the PowerShell is fine. Anyway, run as administrator, absolutely critical. In my case, I've set this in the uh, folder called New, so I'm going to CD uh, New. There we go. And then I'm going to stick a directory, and you can see it's a new file group. I'm just going to... Um, uh, start typing new and then tab and it will put in the period slash for me which is what's required to run a PowerShell script. Just press enter. Boom, done. We go back to my uh, file screening here and I'm going to go to file uh, groups is it? There it is. I'm going to refresh that and there it is. Here's just a big long list of, of, uh, of stuff. So that's it. If you have any questions again please get a hold of us at uartech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.